Okay, so I went right to the la uh, right the last time. We did see that one little location that kind of had nothing on it. So I could go left or right. Uh, these are new looking. Something I can have? Oh, interesting. Funny. I don't think I actually have much of a use for it. So let's go to the right. That's is about as tall as a corn thing. Some like a cloud on the top. It can be found in meadows, round rocks, and flowers you can pick. Yeah, no, I haven't spotted a, anything that matches that description yet. That's why I keep saying I might be on a, like a weird dud seed. From where the red and orange trees are. I see some kind of brownish trees, or those red trees, maybe. But no, no flowers. Cripes, this is steep. Who the shit puts a road like this? San Francisco. This makes San Francisco look like a smooth curve. Okay, that's too much all-wheel drive. <laughs> Screw it. I'm just bringing this thing with. Can you even walk that? Barely. Ugh. Gosh. You would actually have to climb up this on all fours. <laughs> look at these brake marks. <laughs> Somebody... Uh, somebody regretted running into this hill. They they just like took the uh came up to the turn and they're like, oh that'll be fine. Oh shit! <laughs> and just breaks. They probably didn't make it. They probably died just like everybody else. But yeah, there's some beeswax there, but I don't see a damn flower that matches your descriptions. The other problem is this game kind of actively discourages going off the road too much. Because, like, a lot of trees, obviously. And big boys who will just wreck your shit. Hey, look! It's another packing plant. The... See, kind of... What the hell is that thing? Oh, no, never mind. It's, uh, Forkbot pushing... Uh, a walk sideways. Are we doing fuel wise? We're doing great. So, yeah, another packing plant, another warehouse. Another warehouse, two warehouses. Which suck going into, so no point in dealing with that. Let's see. I wonder if you can get armor for the vehicle to be able to go off-roading. I mean, uh, technically, yeah. The problem is I'm pretty sure the, the red bots will just... Oh, wait. That's it. This is an autumnal forest. Here are the cotton plants. Yeah, no. Have not seen these before. Holy shit, I had to go far to, to get these. Because, yeah, this straight up does not exist on uh, anywhere near my base. Yeah, these are these are not small. I'm just going along and I'm like, wait a second. Those are white flowers and they're pretty big. Yeah, so some, something about world gen is a little... Uh, dodgy looking? I'm not entirely sure. Also, Subturf. 
Thank you for the more accurate description. Trying to get instructions from Twitch chat is wild. Uh, watch out for the big boys. I can outrun them. I'm just not sure where I would outrun them to. Holy crap. This autumnal forest is actually very small too. But I'm, I'm just going to get enough that I can make a proper seat. And I don't know what else. I guess next possible order of business. Eh, no, 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 no. Well, look at the thrusters. If if this trip does not find me the shop, then we are just going going for the flying machine and nothing more. Because everything else isn't worth it. But yeah. Uh maybe bed? That's the first thing I'm doing. Uh what I'm probably going to do is go back to the go back home eventually. Uh Go back home and make a car with a bed strapped to it. That way I can always, hopefully, hopefully always respawn at my car. And yes, you're right, I did, I did get a seat, but I didn't get a driving seat. Seats are useless without a driving uh, set up. I mean, okay, no, they're not entirely useless. I could technically do a flying machine with just a regular seat, but uh, let's see. So, Durf, seeing as you're hanging out in chat, if you are still here, uh, how does the modding look? Good, bad, stressful, like a shit ton of work, and good luck. I'd offer to help, but I am completely useless in that regard. Moral support. Okay. It should be more than enough cotton to last a lifetime. Probably eat. Uh, let's see. Well, here's another trap dwarf. Two, in fact. Well... Helpful. Kinda. Yeah, they're stuck to my butt pretty hard, aren't they? Might actually have to just murder these guys. Might actually be easier in third person. Huh. All right, where's my car? Car's over there. Okay. So modding looks like a lot of work. Community looks like, uh, too. A lot of hype and enthusiasm, but no real direction either. Some other projects I was working on are now useless, too. Oh, that sucks. I can agree with you on the community thing, though. Scrap Mechanic has always had... Uh, wild community. Okay, so how much cotton is that? Unnecessarily large amounts. Let's stow it all away. Oh, I forgot to bring... Wait, no, I'd probably pick those up. Uh, let's see. There we go. There goes. See where there are people in a cage? Yep. Two people in a cage. Really good sign if I can find... A traitor to actually take them. Until I can find a traitor, though, they're ultimately pointless to me. I'll just keep them there and they'll go, oh, yeah, 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 or help, and that's about it. Because, yeah, until we have a traitor to actually deliver them to, they're stuck. It'd be great if I could pop them out and, I mean. If I could pop them out and deliver them in an easier manner, instead of these big balls. Let's see, like all things, take my time, make sure I do things right. Don't know about everybody else. There'll be other mods out very soon. The only mod I, I want out of you is the one you want to make. Otherwise, it's gonna suck. Yeah, no, end of the road.
This game def desperately needs markers that you can turn on and off. Uh, I got a mod. Thank you, Tyson. Well, that's a weird thing. So we had somebody, uh, an advertised bot lurking in chat that got a gift sub. That doesn't happen before I look over and I just see, like, a sub leave of kind of just like, go to this shitty website to watch free movies. And it's like, you mean get viruses? It's like, wait a second. Why does that person have a subscription? That shouldn't happen. Oh. You're not a bot. Then don't advertise websites. Cripes. You sound like a website, but also don't do that. Wait, you didn't get a gift sub. Why are you advertising websites on my Twitch chat? That's like a super dono. Roadkill. Like that sort of things works if we're talking about it. And also, you've probably been vetted, but like, sketchy links, man. Oh, mentioned Expanse. Somebody else mentioned they were sad they couldn't watch it because it was on Amazon. That makes more sense, but still sketchy links, man. Like, I, I specifically had links banned for ages because I kept getting porn bots that would just drive by drop things. It's relevant, but it's still piracy. Yeah, that's the other thing I should probably mention is that I... It would be super bad for me to condone piracy, especially on a Amazon-owned platform. But I, I'm just so used to, uh, I am just so used to bots dropping porn, porn links that now if I see a link I don't recognize, I'm just assuming, I, I just automatically assume it is a porn link. Uh. Cause, gosh, there were, it was like straight up a couple of years where it got bad. Law enforcement's on top of piracy. Probably not, but it's still... Not uh, what are you doing? Uh, it's not the kind of thing that I want to even tacitly support because it could get me in a lot of trouble. Probably won't, but still. Watch this road just terminate at that warehouse, and we don't have anything. I gotta stretch my arm out. I've been driving a lot. Ooh. All right. Now oh, there we go. Car needs more wheels. Wander. I don't really know if it needs more wheels. Bless that bug's death marker. So I actually have a fantastic sense of direction. So even without that, I actually know the way back currently. Uh, that said, having that there for reference as like a this is true north is such a nice thing. I've played way too many games that are just like, good luck, have fun, explore. Oh, you lost your base. Sorry to hear that. And then that's just kind of the end of it. No, wherever the traitor is, unless it's right there on the back. No, that's just part of the warehouse. Okay. Oh, that's the wrench. Okay. Yeah. No, look at, looking at this, this, honestly, there, the trader is not attached to the road here. I've been to every, every end of this road here. And there's nothing. So yeah, we gotta we gotta go to a, uh, get a flying machine. He's off road. 
A lot of people were telling me that just follow, just take the road all the way to the end and you'll get it. And so I was like, all right, sure. But that's apparently false. All right. So I'm just going to start raiding buildings that we go by. Probably and hopefully uh, ones near this area. It's one at the top of the hill. I'll leave the car here. Because, yeah, I ain't going to find it by driving. Uh, let's see. Do, you wanna get, do we have some corn? We got some corn over there. I'm starting to get thirsty, so I should I should stock up on some milk. Oh, I have some milk. Never mind. Well, going to do it anyway. The less, uh, the less sandwiches I have to eat, the better. a little bit. I was really, really hoping I could find the trader fast, so I could start figuring out exactly what I need and what I can get get from the guy. Still need cotton? Nope, got plenty. I finally found, like, this single autumnal forest on this entire map and got plenty. Now I'm just feeding the walk so I can have a small supply. And then after this, clothing bot and kind of bizarro flying machine. It's the most valuable vegetable to farm. Uh, jeez. In terms of use within this game, uh, carrots probably. Carrots are used for fertilizer, veggie burgers, and uh, and are just edible. I think they don't feed as well, but that's the only real downside. Uh, the least useful one, as far as I can tell, are the beets, which are completely useless except for just eating. Uh, there are a couple of crops that don't seem to have seeds, like bananas, uh, pineapples, and blueberries that feed really well. But, from what I know, uh, the, you cannot find seeds for them. At least not currently. I think this multiplayer would speed it up a lot. Oh, absolutely. I, I'm i really looking forward to playing playing this with a VAC. I don't necessarily know when that's going to be. Uh, I, I'd assume closer to launch day. Uh, as he is a... He is a busy Welsh man and I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to hustle him. I know especially because he... Uh, He's currently, I think, trying to finish up Final Fantasy VII, and I know that's going to take some time. Let's see, will it be a new save or this save? Absolutely a new save. I want to see what the differences are between worlds. And I that would be kind of shitty to be like, hey, Avec, come check out my, uh, come, come play with me. Okay, here, I've already done everything. God damn it. Like, that wouldn't be fun. Takes away the thrill of discovery. Every time I get up high, I'm going to try and take a look around and find goodies. I really wish you wouldn't find nearly as many of these uh, fork bots hiding, hiding in these buildings, though. They're not fun to fight after a while, especially fighting two of them, because they get a speed boost uh, based on proximity, and that sucks. No. I've done that with a couple of games in the past, where I, I've been invited to play with people, and, like, I guess there was a Minecraft group that I was invited to, and I was like, sure, you know, I'll check out the server, see, uh, see if I'd, like, fit in as kind of a trial run. I get there, and the whole place has just been, like, turbo-developed, and it's just like, what do I even do? So I eventually joined a different group that was considerably less, uh... 
aggressive. I guess the easiest, uh, the other thing I've done in the past, I had some friends that were really big into Terraria. And, uh, let me tell you, having the first session fighting, uh, Ske was it Skeletor Mark II? Uh, without find finding any of the, uh, hard upgrades? Yeah, that sucks. I just died a bunch. And they died a bunch, too. Because, you know, me being there made everything harder. <laughs> Okay. I'm not seeing anything else immediately or amazingly available. Skeletron, there we go. It's been a while. Oh, I'm really looking forward to playing Terraria next week. Because my brother and I should be starting a Terraria run on... I think we'll start on Sunday and kind of gather a bunch of the basics and then start a new world but with like whatever equipment we have to see whatever the journeys end update adds so yeah i think that comes out right before his birthday and we're gonna we're gonna dive into that so that should be good uh, let's see how many upgrade bits do we have i don't want to put away a couple Four. Damn. I need 20. Okay. Just gonna do a quick circuit around the bottom before I get a bunch of friends. There you are. We good? We good. Yeah, the only the only unfortunate part about Journey's End is uh, the mods aren't going to be there yet. So we're going to have to play vanilla. Which, like, isn't that big of a deal, but oh, the mods on Terraria are just so much more fun. Well, no. It just makes the game better. Especially, I, I don't know, I'm a big fan of RPG mods in games. Like, playing this even, I almost kind of wish there was light RPG mod. Probably using the upgrade components or some other things so you could upgrade yourself and your vehicles better. Uh, so, like... Sadly, does not heal me. But I'll take what I can get. I have enough of a healing. But it would be nice to see if, uh, after killing X number of things, you could upgrade your equipment, have more durability, uh, maybe hit harder, run faster, consume less food. Uh, same kind of deal with the engines. Like, gosh, I really wish they were, weren't as bad of gas guzzlers. Maybe it's not so bad, but still. Okay, more clothing. Well, when I finally build a clothing bot, we'll actually be able to look fancy. All right, let's head for the next one. I'm just on advent. It's just adventure time for me for a little while. Because we need to grab as many resources as possible. Oh, that's outside. Holy shit, that person needs, needs a new muffler. Damn. Somebody going by that sounds like a uh, dual prop plane. Well, I mean, it could have been a plane flying really low. That would actually be even scarier. Okay, component kits. So we're at nine component kits. A lot of batteries. Like, eventually when I start flying, I'll be good. Do different clothings have better stats? I actually have no idea. Shit. 
Uh... There we go. Spooky. Fighting two of those guys is guaranteed damage. Not like it. Did he just respawn? God. Either that or there's another one, but... Let's see if I found the traitor yet. Nope! I would love to find the traitor, but wherever the hell he is, he is stupid hidden. Okay, not seeing anything else. I think I'm actually going to stick in uh, third person for a while. A little easier to see everything. Namely, anything that wants to stab me in the booty. like a mod for refined lighting. I don't think I'd want refined lighting. I think what I would want is brighter nights. Just bring out the moon. That's all I need. Let's see, is there an area map? God, I wish. Having an area map would make my life so much easier. Okay. That's not super accessible. I'm going to check this thing out, but then we're going to get out of here. Let's see, do they need master power cells too? Uh, which? Sorry? Uh, gas stations do. Nothing else does. Oh, refined fighting. Oh, I read that as lighting. Sorry. Uh, honestly, as far as the fighting goes, I don't really care. The problem is you'd have to make the enemies more interesting to fight first. Or as well. And that... That's equally kind of iffy. I think it would be nice to have refined fighting, and I think that could work really well. Uh, do I get rid of anything? Get rid of the carrot. You gotta realize, when I, when I read chat, I look over, quick glance, look back, so anything that is actually super similar to another word, I'm actually very potentially just going to get them mixed up. Let's see, there was a chest inside the mountain. Not the biggest deal. Ow. People are drag racing outside. That's what I'm hearing. Imagine bees could hurt you. In this, that'd be rough. But yeah, as far as refined fighting goes, I'd prefer to see refined gear first. You know, changing out equipment, upgrading the hammer. The actual combat mechanics are boring, but they don't need to be better. But giving me better equipment would help. Just in terms of, like, it'd be more fun. I'd, it would be something to look forward to. Okay, is that it? Yeah. <coughs> Needs a scrap gun. Higher value the item is, the more damage it does. That would be interesting, actually. Let's see, why refine combat when it isn't the focus of the game? I would actually say combat is surprisingly focused on in, the, in this game. It's not quite as much as, like, Seven Days to Die, but when it comes down to it, uh, you are spending a fair amount of time fighting robots constantly. Uh, and so, like, especially warehouses, like, there's a very specific reason why I don't go near warehouses, period. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that the, uh, the enemies there are effectively instant death. Uh, but yeah, I think what I would like is bigger, smaller, uh, 
like bigger or smaller well no like really big scrap bots that would come in that you would actually have to fight on vehicle or something that could be really cool yeah, if you can't skip doing something it becomes a focus one way or another like just there i'm feeding a cow suddenly combat like it's not a focus of this game but it or at least intentionally it's not intentionally supposed to be a focus of this game but gameplay wise uh combat absolutely is like such a huge part uh even if you don't want it to be let's see the are there scrapyard biomes in the game with the giant yellow guys not that i've seen not yet yeah partisan or spear would be nice to add partisan spear uh i know you can upgrade the hammer somehow to block according to somebody but I don't know. um but no i would i would actually love to see them scale back a lot of the like little trash mobs and go full terra tech so that you have to build your own combat vehicles the fact that in scrap mechanic i do almost all my combat uh right click with the hammer to block can't you have to upgrade the hammer before you can block i'm holding right click and unless unless it's no animation Like, it is not a functionality that I currently have. Either that or they, uh, they moved it. Okay, there we go. Well, let's go get my car. Just gonna be drive by telling me how to find the shop. That's uh, gonna get annoying. There already is. All right, let's uh drop every everything that we don't need off. Uh, every completed stack, especially. I don't really have a whole lot of those, do I? I get an amount. Don't think I really need water. heard like a weird noise and it's like uh is that something i have to be worried about the answer is maybe probably well, let's see anything else i guess i can put the potatoes over dump the seeds we can dump over a lot of the milk too because we're not going to be using all of it oh right that last uh, seeds bearings Spare tomato? Yeah. All right, cool. Oh, dang it. It's nighttime. I don't really know what I want to do with this currently. I really like the mobile base aspect of TerraTech. Building a base that can drill, refine, and store all your materials looks cool as heck. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I, I just feel like for a game about building vehicles and structures and stuff, uh, there's very little gameplay that actually really encourages those things. Uh, like, I, I truly would prefer it if there were only a handful of enemies in this game. Uh, you know, maybe maybe a couple of fork bots, maybe a couple of green bots. But for the most part, you see the bots. They're huge. They're all over the place. Uh, but they're, they're large enough that you can see them through the trees. And they're the kind of thing that you're going to need to make effectively a tank to take them out. Um... Because that would be so much more compelling, I think, than just running up and bonking them with a hammer. So, I, I guess to circle back to the beginning of this topic, no, I actually don't want them to refine combat. I want them to add scrap mechanic combat as opposed to just first-person bonk thing. I don't. I wouldn't say Shadow the... Well, I mean, it could be Shadow the Colossus style. I think I think some really big bots would be rad. But no, like, give me... Give me, um, I mean, hell, you could even use workshop support, uh, so people add, like, enemy packs and stuff, 
uh, with their own programming and AI and whatnot. But effectively, uh, see that field over there? What if there was like a big box with like kind of crab legs and it was scuttling around a little bit? And so you'd have to hop into a car, drive around shooting it, uh, twisted metal style or something, with, you know, a couple extra shit. No, you don't. Uh, did he actually do any damage? He hit it. But I don't think we took any damage. Okay. I'm gonna ha hide in here. We tried circling to dodge their attack. It's better to back away from them. I've tried circle strafing. They turn too fast. Oh, he broke my tail light off. You s God damn it. But yeah, as it stands, it's a bunch of little enemies that kind of come out of freaking nowhere, stab you in the butt, break something on your car that might not actually be uh, replaceable, and there's that. And yeah, I'm sure there are better guns, uh, and maybe ones that I specifically can make and equip on my, my vehicle. But it's just like, it feels so antithetical to Scrap Mechanic to have all of the combat be handled outside of your vehicle. And sure, I could probably mount a gun to my vehicle, but I don't think that would actually be... I don't think that would be very fun. Uh, but, like, the easiest way I could describe it is, like, this would be, like, the only combat in Space Engineers being on foot. Yeah, non-survival, there's a vanilla placeable spot gun. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite aware, and that's actually what I was expecting. Mount saw blades all, all around it. Maybe? And so hopefully it's something that they add in. But I would love it if they took out all of the little trash monsters and just gave you the occasional crazy things. Space Engineers has ship guns. I'm quite aware. This is what I... That's what I'm saying, though. Space Engineers actually has ship guns. You do your ship-to-ship -ship fighting. And so on and so forth. And I want... I want more than that in this game. Or I, I want more than what this has, because it would be so much more compelling. To, yeah. Split the middle with it. Have some small bots that do nightly raids, but over the time, huge critters move in. I wouldn't even have over time huge critters move in. I would just have... I mean, maybe the nightly raids with the little guys, just so you kind of orcs must die it. Uh, but I, I still think the ma vast majority of the combat truly should be... It should rarely involve you hitting things with a hammer. And I wish there were more trap-related structures that I could... I could make. Because I know there's saw blades. I have not actually... Fully tested to see if the saw blades can even hurt enemies. Okay. But yeah, spikes like in seven days to die. Uh, more than that. Like, almost the ideal should be orcs must die. I want flinger traps that kind of work. Spike traps and a bunch of things. Okay, saw blades are a good weapon. Okay. So I, I will have to try some kind of uh, saw blade thing at some point. Apparently it seemed like crusher traps worked so much better. Uh, but I'd love to see a lot more functionality that involves uh, flinging, crushing, burning. Why is there no burning in this game? Oh, that's, that's just the spare water I dropped. But yeah, giant hammer to to crush bots. I feel like you should be able to do um oh, like resetting hammer traps would be really cool. You just make a giant block of iron and sensor trips, hammer drops and then slowly resets, stuff like that. Uh pit traps would be kind of cool. I know there's flammability in the description of blocks and it's probably in regards to like driving over fire, but like I'd like to be able to set the bots on fire or something. But 
Let's see, why not link engine to blade? Uh, waste of gas, maybe. I have it attached to a separate engine entirely. In theory, you can do hammer traps with blocks, right? Yeah, but it's better to just use a piston for a crush trap as opposed to some kind of hammer trap. I guess you could do it with a thruster. You know, just fire the thruster and bash into the thing. Unfortunately, that would cost batteries, which is... I mean, if they added solar panels so I could get my own batteries, I'd be super down with that. That's that's definitely something. Uh, more automation would also make a huge difference in terms of, like, longevity play, if that makes sense. Because I'd absolutely adore it if, uh, if I didn't have to constantly go swimming just to pick up more fuel. Uh, see, in the trailer, there are propellers used as a trap to grind the bots up. Huh. They haven't seen anything... anything of the sort. So yeah, there's, there's probably a number of things that I could put together on my own. But I'm not necessarily sure if a lot of the mechanics support uh, those designs particularly well. Maybe they do. But that's that's what I'd rather see them work on. Give me more tricks and tools and stuff. I don't really care about the hammer combat being that much better. Oh, what about spinning blocks? I... I, I guess that, that... Oh, shoot. Is this freaking... It's this one. I hate this one. This one never has any loot on it. Both of these kind of blow. Uh, can I get over to that other tower? No, I'd have to build up to it. Maybe, maybe I can get around. We'll keep going though. But yeah, some ex extra custom trap parts would be lovely. Uh, to both use on my weapons as a, uh, or to use on my vehicle as a weapon but also, like, as part of traps. But that circles back to the, like, the spinning anything is kind of a problem. Because I don't have, uh... I have limited amounts of fuel. Okay, we're not going up the hell tower. That's just a bit too much of... Well, do we go up this hell tower? I could go up this hell tower. It's not worth it, but I might do it anyway. Let's see if those guys are still following me. Doesn't look like it. I probably got far enough away. Alright, let's check this out. Yeah, propellers are actually objects. Cool. Hopefully they add that soon. Or maybe it's already in the game and I just haven't found out how to get them. I would definitely say a research tree of some variety would really be cool. Because uh, as it stands, there's a lot of even, like, base scrap mechanic blocks that just aren't in the game right now. Uh, like, the big the big metal wrap ramps just don't exist. Maybe you can find them somewhere else. Uh, but yeah, like, a research tree would be kind of neat. Maybe you just put, like, power into it, or... No, you know what? Screw it. Put vegetables in it. Have science be carrot-powered. Uh, and that way you have to keep farming, which is how you keep getting... A, uh, why you keep getting attacked, which is why you need to focus on defenses. Uh, but yeah, just having it so that, uh, you know, you put in... Five carrots... And... Thirty tomatoes... That gets you... Better lights. Uh... Okay. I'm just gonna bail for a bit. That was a bad spot. I actually know if they're gonna be able to follow me. 
Now let's wait on that one. Let's drink some milk. That was actually exactly what I needed. All right, there we go. Um, do you like playing in third person? It helps me not get ambushed as much. Potato batteries. Yeah, well, why not? Uh, let's see. Oh, I can increase this FOV. Ooh, 60? Let's see the universe for a bit. 90. All right. I can now see everything. You will never catch me unawares. I am the all-seeing dwarf. <laughs> 